So my Christmas crew. Don't be insanity here and I click this so you don't have to. Finally showed you my Krampus collection. A lot of y'all be looking forward to Santa Claus. Coming real soon, but you're going to be surprised. You're going to be real surprised when Krampus shows up. Krampus is a creature of folklore in the Bavarian region of Germany, modern-day Germany and Austria. That's what, he, that's what he'd be looking like. Okay. And he comes to smack you with some birch sticks or... You know, if you've been real bad, he's going to put you in a sack, kidnap you. So what do I even have? This is the regular Krampus 14 in the Holiday Series. This is the FY exclusive, you know, white snow variant. And then we get the Chase version. It's like 1 in 12. Uh, it's red. And then 15 in the Holiday Series. They did, they did another one where he's wearing the Kris Kringle suit <clears throat> and he's got a kidnapped child. A long time ago. It was in fact December 29, 2019. I looked at the FYE exclusive cereal. That was Cereal Insanity number 57. And this was in it. Okay, so I did 70 Funko cereals to get the Pocket Pops. And of 70, this was the only one to ever be a keychain within this cereal. And it was obviously some kind of error because FYE got the keychains too. The difference with the cereals, the pocket pops and the cereals, it's always supposed to be a non-keychain. So you don't have the chain, you don't have a hole in the head. Identical, including, well this one has like an extra mark on its foot for some reason, but nobody cares about printing on the feet. Uh, otherwise identical, okay? Now check out that cereal insanity because it was one of the worst. It was one of the worst. First of all, you got to observe my reaction pulling out a keychain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, this is insane. What is going on? Why are they sending me a keychain? Wow, this is chonky. I like this one a lot. It says Funko 2019 Funko.com. So there's a little baby Krampus. All right, so I was like, oh my gosh, are all the cereals going to be keychains from now on? Turned out they weren't, but there was only, let's be real, there was only a couple more cereals after this one. So Funko cereals are dead, RIP. I kind of have a theory they're going to bring them back, but they're going to bring them back with, they're going to be in conjunction with real cereals. This is a prediction I'm making. So maybe uh, General Mills or Kellogg's or both. No, 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 here's the prediction. Here's why I began to think of this. It was the fact that Reese's Puffs is teaming up with so many artists, music artists and, uh, you know, toy artists like Calls. I think we're going to see Funko cereal again. Or, that's my other theory, they're just going to bring it back, you know, as is. So here, he, he, here he's stuffing the kid in the sack. Here he's got the kid in the sack on his back. Same as this. Okay, FYE exclusive. Now there is one more. It's the uh, flocked version. If you know anything about Toy Insanity, you know I hate flocked figures. I don't support flocked figures as variants anymore. It looks exactly like this, but it has... <laughs> cut up felt glued to the outside of it the main reason is first of all i just don't like it as a concept because it's so easy you know a fingernail you can rub off the flocking but the main reason is actually when you put the flocked figure on your shelf next to the regular figure it just looks like another regular figure color variants for the win it was not hard to get to win sanity to buy an FY exclusive and a Chase variant. Got the Chase, my dudes. Where, where, there it is. When you made them all different colors, that triad, that trifecta, looks awesome. And then this guy's a totally different sculpt. But there he is with his birch stick, ready to punish the bad children. In fact, this child has been very bad. They've taken him away. 
Much like Bigfoot and Yeti, I like the co- mm. <sighs> I think all I was trying to say is this is kind of like Bigfoot, this is kind of like Yeti, but I'm suddenly depressed by the discoloration. At least it's on the back of the figure. The back of his head is very yellowed. It looks terrible. So some heat, I guess not sunlight, some heat had been getting in that pack from the back. Let me see if it's faded. Which one was this? Also, it didn't necessarily happen in my possession. I had to get these on eBay. Except for, I think, the regular. I don't remember. Let's see how the color is different. Here he's got a nice blonde child. Here he's got a frozen child. And here he has a brunette child. Very cool. Yeah, the uh, history of... Golly, Susan and the Jets. The history of Kerb is not real well understood because... You know, like 100, 120 years ago, it cropped up in some postcards. This is insane and pathetic, Susan. So the tradition was, it's not a real popular tradition until modern day. Largely because of the 2015 movie and, you know, just pop culture and social media in general. So now there are, like, Krampus Fests and whatnot. But that has not been a tradition since back in the day. And i got to show you this. Look, I'll put an image on the screen because this is a 1900, so it's 121 years old, postcard. Literally, oh my gosh, this image literally is on Wikipedia as a fancy old-timey postcard. I think that's cool. So these figures are in the holidays line. They're based on the creature of folklore with the big horns, the tongue, the tail, the hooven, hooven hooves. They are based on the folklore, not the movie. All right. And I love that <laughs> Funko was like, well, what image should we put on the box? Hashtag why try harder. Just take that one from, take that public domain image straight off Wikipedia. Now what am I missing? Am I missing anything? Like I said, I don't, I don't ever want to flock. Did they do the, did they do the Pez? I don't know. Okay. I kind of like the one. Oh, he got red eyes too. I like, yeah. He's all jingle belled out. His halls have been decked. But these ones just look amazing as the trio. The trifecta, the triad of hot Krampus love. I'm surprised nobody is combining <clears throat> Krampus with Belschnickel of the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch tradition. Because he does the same thing. He's going to spank you with birch barks, except he don't look so demonic. He's just like a guy. I figured, I figured back in the day it was just an easier costume to make. To just be a guy with a crazy tongue and a birch stick than to be uh, this demonic horn dude. Okay, I'm happy to have this Krampus collection. Happy to have shared it with you. Beware, okay? Because that's the whole thing. This is what I've been trying to tell you. Santa makes a list. He checks it at least twice. All right? Naughty. Nice. The naughty list. Whoop, go straight to Krampus. All right? It's up to him. It's up to Mr. K, now Mr. C, what's going to happen to you if you end up on the naughty list? So please don't do that. Be good, be kind, be generous, be forthright in your dealings all throughout the year. You do not want to visit from Krampus. Happen to my brother. Also, thumbs up the video. Do it now. Do it hard. Do it thoroughly. Check out Serial Sanity 57 because I meant to tell you another thing. Not only was it a big surprise with the keychain, I put eggnog on that cereal. I ate cereal with straight up eggnog. And that was probably the first and last time I've ever tried eggnog. I don't like this stuff. Alright? Thumbs up. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Be good to your fellow man. Goodbye.